Hello everyone, uh, today we got new topic because we got new check engine light and it was a stop light at first and after a few seconds uh, the light uh, get yellow with her little range and I got two check engine light just regular and uh, ye uh, yellow with range and uh, I checked the code and yeah, the code shows <clears throat> EGR valve uh, malfunctioning and uh, I started to re research about this EGR valve because this uh, car engine for me it's new and uh, I find out uh, the EGR valve uh, has some problems uh, some leaks and uh, today I went to the dealer and tried to get one e EGR valve they have in stock and uh, I tried to buy it but uh, my bank saved me from this mistake because uh, the price is uh, 2500 uh, something uh, total price for only EGR valve also they want to sell me some kind of uh, tubing for upgrade but my truck already looks like upgraded and right now I would like to share with you how you can check if your EGR valve has problem and it should be replaced in pretty fast time because uh, it can stuck uh, some position and you can stuck on the road right now we're gonna start the engine and uh, we go outside and I show you how you can check if uh, the EGR valve is not uh, working properly in my case what I'm going to do I'm going to open the uh, everything and clean it and do the maintenance uh, I'm gonna check inside if has a, if, it, if it's too much soot inside the EGR valve or tubing which goes to the engine also the Delta P sensor I'm going to uh, 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 remove and clean it I didn't do this job before on this engine but I think it's not big deal for me and uh, right now I'm going out I'm gonna start the engine and we ain't going outside and we're gonna check what's going on. Okay, we're gonna start right now. Engine. Okay, let's go outside and see what's going on. As you can see the EGR valve is leaking and uh, usually if it's leaked just a little bit it's okay because this EGR valve has a uh, not good reputation it's from factory it might leak a little bit but uh, this one is uh, leaking too much and 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it and see what I can do. And maybe I can find a little bit cheaper one. And I, and but right now my chicken engine done. It's probably because it's tried to regen and uh, and uh, too much pressure was bad pressure and something happened. Yeah. Uh, okay. I hope you, this video help you. If you see it so much excessive uh, bubble on, the, on this around the spring this mean the the shaft is already wear out of some kind of seal they have it looks like metal seal it's already wear out and it need to be replaced but uh, be aware it's no cheap parts okay thank you for the watching see you next time